Welcome to episode 95 on the law report. In today's episode, we're going to look at how a visitor to the Tox and Caicos Islands can drive legally in the Tox and Caicos Islands. But before I do my usual disclaimer, this is not legal advice, should not be construed as such. For legal advice, please contact an attorney of your choice. Welcome back. If you're a visitor to the Tox and Caicos Islands and you are wondering how can you drive legally in the Tox and Caicos Islands, you don't have to worry. You're covered by Section 3, Subsection 3, and Section 7 of the Motor Vehicle driving ordinance from Caicos Islands. So let's look at section 3, subsection 3. And it states, a person who is not the holder of a valid driving license is not less than 17 years of age, is not ordinarily Residence in the islands is not in the islands in contravention of any of the provisions of the immigration ordinance and is the holder of a valid driving license issued in the United States of America or in any part of the Commonwealth or of a valid international driving permit may for a period not exceeding 30 days after the date of his entry into the islands drive any motor vehicle of the class for which the license or permit mentioned in paragraph e as the case may be is valid so in other words person visiting the Tox and Caicos Islands is permitted to drive for 30 days without any legal consequences if they hold a driving license issued in the United States of America or any part of the Commonwealth or if they hold an international driving permit now let's look at section 7 of the ordinance and it deals with a visitors driving permit and section 7 states section 7 1 upon application by a person who is not ordinarily resident in the islands the director and this is the director of the road safety department these days it is called the department of motor vehicles have not seen any change in the ordinance to reflect this but the director upon being satisfied that the applicant is the holder of a valid driving license for motor vehicles of the class for which a permit is desired issued in the united states of america or any part of the Commonwealth, or is the holder of a valid international driving permit, and that he is not disqualified from driving a motor vehicle by order of any court in the islands, may issue to the applicant and payment a visitor's driving permit, which shall be valid for three months from the date of issue. Section 7, subsection 2 states, during the period of its validity, 
a visitor's driving permit shall be deemed to be a valid driving license for private motor vehicles of the class to which it relates for the purposes of this ordinance. So here we have it, that a visitor to the Turks and Caicos Islands can apply for a driving permit. And if granted a visitor's driving permit, it is valid for a period of three months. If a person who visits the Turks and Caicos Islands, but they are not desirous of applying for a visitor's driving permit, then they can drive in the Turks and Caicos on a license, on a driving license issued by the United States of America, any part of the Commonwealth, or if they hold a valid international driving permit, they will be able to drive for a period of 30 days without any legal consequences. Now, one clarification. Some time ago, someone asked privately for my legal opinion. His wife, who ordinarily resides in the Turks and Caicos Islands, but had a return to her home country on vacation was never issued with a driving license in the Turks and Caicos Islands, but have a driver's license from their country or from her country of origin. When she returned to the Turks and Caicos Islands, she was caught driving and she was given a warning by the police officer, according to my understanding. And she claimed that she was entitled to drive for 30 days on her driver's or her driving license that was issued by her country of origin and without looking at the ordinance i advise the husband that because she was ordinarily residing in the Turks and caicos islands and just took a break and went on a two three weeks vacation and returned that she was not qualified to drive on her driver's license issued by her country of origin of course he did not agree with my legal analysis but that is the nature of this business people don't normally agree with legal advice if it doesn't fall within their narrative or what they want to hear, but the ordinance is clear that the person must not ordinarily reside in the Turks and Caicos Islands in order for them to drive on a driving license issued either by the United States of America, part of the Commonwealth, or if they possess an international driving permit. So a person, for example, residing in the Turks and Caicos Islands on a work permit, but do not have a valid Turks and Caicos Islands driving license. If that person were to go home on a Christmas break, for example, and they return in January, the following year, they are not permitted 
to drive and the driving license issued by their country of origin. Why? Because by virtue of being the holder of a valid work permit in the Turks and Caicos Islands, they will be deemed to be ordinarily resident in the Turks and Caicos Islands. I hope that is clear. Here is where I will leave this for today. If you like anything that I say in this episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you don't, give it the usual thumbs down. I thank you for watching. And I will see you very shortly in my next episode. Cheers.